I've never been, but my friend Austin, he told me it's a good place and it's a very great place for fishing, so I could try this. So how would you rate your performance tonight? Uh, I was prepared to knock him out. I tried to knock him out very hard, but fight is a fight. He's a tough guy. Uh, we have a good fight and I do everything to win the fight. After two rounds, I was thinking it's like maybe 50-50. I was not sure of winning. So the last round, I, I decided to take him down two times. So I know I'm, I win this fight. Were your corners telling you anything about what they thought going into the third as far as scoring goes? Uh, no, they say I win it to run, but like go, go now hard, go hard, put everything, put everything. So I do everything. There's been some talk about open scoring where you can see every score as the fight's going on. Is that something that you think should happen or are you kind of happy with the way it is right now? No, of course, I always I can do better, you know, it would be better if I knock him out. But it's what it is. I'm back to home with the winning, so this is also very nice and I'm very happy with this. Was there anything about your opponent that surprised you? He hit me hard first round. He was doing the same punch all the time and the first round I was still maybe... You know what? I was so sleepy when I was uh, warm up. I was like, uh, I was thinking like, fuck, what happens with me? I like sleep. And I started to like, punch myself before I go to Octagon to wake up. And I think the punch helped me. He hit me first and I was like, okay, Gerard, now I wake up, let's go fight. So note to your future opponents, don't hit you. Uh, <laughs> I defy everyone, whatever you will see put me, but I want to back to to the ranking again and fight with somebody with the ranking. When do you want to get back in there? Uh, the fast I can. If you will see call me today and tell me fight next month, I will fight, change my vacation and fight next month. I'm good, I'm healthy, no injury. So I'm just hungry and I want to drink some Hennessy. Thank you. Thanks. Chris, congrats on the win. As soon as you, you came into here with me, you said, I've been here before. You said you were going to win. You delivered. How does it feel to live up to your word? Uh, my camp was 100% good. Uh, no injury, no problems our camp. And this was a very, very like, important fight for me because before this fight was fight two Polish people and they take a nap in the octagon. And then Mahmoud Muradov, who was uh, one, he, who was almost fight with me, like UFC tried to put him to fight with me like two or three times, and he also lose with him. So this was like, I need to win this fight. And now the Polish people can go out in the house and be, feel safe. That sounds great. And I wanted to drop you down for a KO, but you were top control, canceling out his. Uh, attacks, uh, stuff with the takedowns. Did you expect it to be kind of a wrestling heavy fight tonight? Uh, like a, my wrestling or his wrestling? Both, both. We saw a lot of that. Yeah, I expect he, wanna, he will want to try to take me down. I was even calling him the human blanket dick sniffer before the fight. I'm sorry, John. <laughs> but yeah, I was, I was thinking he tried to take me down, but he was actually fighting. Excellent. And when we did speak earlier in the week, I think you, you mentioned a few names. Are you still maybe wanting those fights at Derek Brunson's and, and such? Or where's your mind at? Yeah, if Brunson won a fight for his last fight, for his, uh, his career, I respect him. we supposed to fight, like, I don't know, it was 2018 in the Berlin, in Germany, but uh, he was injured, so we never fight. So if he want to fight me, let's go. Well, great performance. Congrats on the win. Thank you, sir. Thank you. What about, what about a guy like Sean Strickland? Is that one that you're aiming to Sean back Strickland. To? Sean Strickland. Uh, I tell you, I like him. I like him, but when I fight him, I was very, very horrible condition. Uh, my stomach was very bad. I was throw up. I can't, I can't make a weight. I have like a uh, horrible cap. I can't even put together myself, but I still go to the final. He still win in a decision, so I hope so. I know now I don't have a chance to fight him because he's like number four, number five, but in the future I hope so, I hope so we can, we can fight. I have a big respect to him and I, I like his talking shit when he talk. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna ask you, he, 
because he he tends to go a bit far in his in his his shit talking, as you say. Whereas yours, you don't really go that far, but you still do you admire him for going as far as he does sometimes during the fight week. Or do you think that he goes over the limit a little too? Much? No, sometimes he he talks like he a fucking problem with his head, you know what I mean? But I respect this. He's funny. He's cool. That's awesome. Um, just going double back to tonight. What was the game plan for him coming in tonight? I tried to hold fight in the feet and try to knock him out, but I was not sure after two rounds if I win the fight, so I decided to take him down in the last rounds to be sure I win. Yeah, and how important is it right now? I mean, I know you want to go out there and get the win. I guess what's what's most important at this point as you're trying to go up, trying to get a, an emphatic win, trying to get something, or is it just to keep the winning streak going? I mean, do you go back in your home and you're like, I'm sure you're happy for the win, but do you go back home a little bit, maybe disappointed because you didn't get to do everything that you wanted to do? No, I'm not disappointed. I'm back home to the win. Yeah. It's my, I think, seven fights or six fights, and I only lose with a Sean Strickland because I have a horrible condition this time. So I'm happy with that. Of course, I always can be better, but still it's good I win. But I guess just last one, just looking at your conditioning, how good did you feel in here tonight as opposed to how you felt that particular night? I was feel great, but before I was still so sleepy. I was thinking, I'm like, uh, I'm like, damn. Last night I can't sleep. I watched some Polish thriller. The Polish thriller was a little crazy, and I have a nightmare in the night. I can't sleep. And then today when I was warm up, I was like, Damn, maybe I don't, I don't sleep good. I feel like tired and sleepy. But I start to hit myself. I wake up and I go to fight. And then, like I tell you before, he punched me hard in the first round, and I'm like, okay, Jotko, time to wake up. So for next fight, uh, next fight camp, no, no crazy Polish thrillers tonight. No, before. I always watch the Van Damme movie. This was my with the Peter Sobota, my okay. very good friend. We always watch Van Damme movie, kickboxer quest, and everything. And they always like. Motivated. Even today, I was watching the boy count, the spirit and the feeling to forget about this fucking horror thriller yesterday. <laughs> What's your um, favorite Van Damme movie? I think uh, I like the Lion, the, so I was an English name, uh, Lionheart. Okay. Lionheart and Kickboxer. Kickboxer, okay. I was going to say, I was going to be surprised if we didn't say Kickboxer, but uh, very good. Congrats on the victory. Thank you so much, guys. Question over here. Um, I'm curious about, you mentioned a couple times about how today you were feeling really tired heading into this fight. Um, is that something that when it's happening, is that a bit alarming to you when you're here trying to get warmed up and you're just not feeling it? Does it start to kick up the nerves at all? You know what, no, maybe I was too much dramatic today, you know what I mean? My fight last time like six months ago, so Thiago Alves come to me and said, Jotko, the same like last time, you feel the same. You feel this and he feels probably the same or even worse like you because you are a much better striker, you have much more tools like him. So probably we feel the same and I was like, okay, let's go. Uh, and after your last fight, um, you say, basically said, and I talked about it last uh, on Wednesday on Media Day, how you mentioned how you needed to start the fight off at a higher pace. Uh, are you happy with the pace you started this fight off at? You seem to be coming out pretty aggressive. I was even tired today. <laughs> so I don't I need to see the fight, but I think I think it was a good fight. Yeah, I think so. Thank you very much. Thank you.